Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, right now I'm reviewing Fans Toys 27 Spindrift. We know he's supposed to be Masterpiece Sea Spray, but they can't call him that, unfortunately for them. Here's this out of the box, and this is the whole Fans Toy production you would normally get, even though this box is small as crap. Here are these product shots on the back right there. Here is the bio if you want to read that. It's an interesting read and very long, just like all the other Fans Toys bios. Here it is next to a masterpiece size box right there. So you get an idea of how thick and high it is. It does come in a little cutesy bootsy styrofoam package just like everything else. With this little thing, the weapons were in this baggie and he's in there like that with the weapons where it was slotted there. He's here. Get out of here. And his little extra head is right there. Standard fans to his collector's card. The blue is lighter than that blue right there. And here are the stats on the back with the same bio. If you can understand them stats, good for you. And it says dino mode. I don't know why it says dino mode. Instead of a booklet, he gets a fold-out sheet, just like regular Transformers. Normally, all the fans of his stuff get a booklet, but this guy didn't. But anywho, here is Spindrift, a.k.a. Sea Spray, and he is missing something. There you go, there you go. But anywho, here he is, and yeah, in pictures and in person... He does look a little bit too flat for me. Well, let's bring down this brightness. I always do it wrong. Yeah, there you go. He does look a little bit flat. I do like they, that they gave him this backpack to bulk him out somewhat, somewhat more. But I would have loved it if this little thing right here that becomes his chest, if that would have came all the way down to the crotch. I would have loved that a lot better. But there are things you can do. He does have like a little bit of an ab crunch. When I pose him for it like that or pose him at an angle or it's turned or whatever, it doesn't bug me as much. And I do kind of wish that maybe his legs were a little bit shorter. That's, that's the thing. He and Cosmos had like stubby little legs. Or, they weren't, his legs weren't as stubby as Cosmos, but they weren't, like, lanky looking. But, I don't know, at the plan with it today, all day, it he grew on me a little bit more. So, I do like it. Presentation-wise, this thing, or when you take it out of the package, it feels like a fan toy. toy. It feels like his feet are completely 100% made out of die cast, even though they're not. Like, this whole top part of the foot is die cast, and it, the weight really transfers into the bottom. They left the bottom part plastic so that when you walk, when you roll them around on the ground, because it doesn't have any wheels and hovercraft mode, it won't scrape up the paint and whatnot on the die cast and the, the die cast painted part and the plastic match up very very well like I didn't for a long time know that this whole foot wasn't die cast but here he is on the back here is a close up on his head the head that he's packaged with anyway that looks very cartoon accurate to me it's round but like you know in the cartoon things look different from episode to episode this other head is a bit more square, but I like the round one, or the more rounded one better, as you can see. Here it is, side by side. Articulation! This can get out of the way. His head doesn't move as well as I would like. For their smaller robots, they really skimp out on a neck movement, like these and the Insecticons. I guess it's on a little tiny ball joint so it can swivel around but it only looks up that much which is nothing and looks down that much shoulders are great go out that far 
And of course, Brutate 360 bicep swivel elbow crunch comes all the way in because it's a double jointed elbow. And the hands, the hands remind me of Arcos a ton. The fingers open up. It's a lot like Arcos. And maybe because it's blue in the way his arms are, look, the arms are fully blue too. This thumb worries me. I wouldn't put a lot of pressure on there. He does have a waist joint that swivels all the way around and a tiny, tiny bit of ab crunch. Universal joints on the hips can kick that far out, kick that far back, all the way out to the side. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees. I love that. He doesn't need it and his feet makes it <laughs> awkward. He has foot rotation and he has ankle pivot right there which is really cool and the foot can can kick back i wish just like i wish on bumblebee i wish it could kick forward I, I don't know why they didn't engineer that in there that trying to get him posed without that posability right there is difficult but well he still poses well the feet are so huge like whatever you're trying to do they typically things just work out it's just like somehow it's balancing and the feet are so heavy so they do what you need them to do he comes with this little blaster right here it's kind of reminiscent of bumblebee's blaster has the tab situation i kind of wish it just fit in his hand like five millimeter pegs so here he is holding that gun it was rare sometimes that these little mini bots had guns on the cartoon. And the toys definitely didn't come with the guns. Plus, he comes with these optional little guns. I like these. I always put these on him when I turn him into robot mode. I know he didn't have it in the cartoon, but I really like this option right here. Here he is with these guns right there. So, he is definitely... A cool robot mode like and definitely a cool robot period it might not be completely completely screen accurate depending on the the episode but it's still an awesome toy here he is compared to some other various mini bots i don't have a problem with him being taller than bumblebee because bumblebee was always the shortest in the cartoon and the height difference i mean he looks to be taller than actually Beast Beachcomber, but looking on the screen, he's not much taller than Bumblebee, actually. So that's cool to me. Transformation. You want to take this gun out of his hand and take these guns off because they can't stay. Let's go ahead and move that back and rotate his head around now. Save you some trouble later. Rotate the arms that way so the cylindrical part will line up and it's all smooth. Close the hand and rotate the hand that way. Same thing over here. Rotate the hands forward. Okay. Now lift the shoulders up out of the way. Come back here. Rotate this down. Rotate that down and bring this hinge forward. So now he's looking like that. If the legs aren't straight, make sure that they're straight. And now we can bend this back, which separates a bunch. He has a whole lot of hinges and whatnot. Lift, when you bend that back, lift this front part off of that tab right there. Now I'll just leave that hanging for now. Feet, bring this out, bring that out. Plug the feet together if they aren't already plugged together. Bring this down, bring this back like that till it's meeting like this down here and go ahead and rotate the crotch for it. It's a lot like the Titans return one, which I don't own, so I can't compare it to you. Sorry. Once you have the crotch up like this, make sure the chest is all the way along. I mean, all the way lift up away from the body with that hinge right there. Make sure this hinge rises all the way up. Now we could bring these arms forward to this orientation and make sure the hands are straight. This part is 
actually aggravating like crap. We need to bring this down to meet the back of the leg. So bring the arms forward. And now we can bring this down. And as you're bringing it down, try to slot the hands into the little foot grooves right there. And now you force everything forward. Sometimes the elbows bend, but there you go. Now, now that it's transformed in this orientation, you could push the head in, like push that all the way in. And you see this little panel going back. You could push that if you can't just pull it out with your fingernail, which if you don't have fingernails. Now here, slot this. Actually, before you put the legs together, this part doesn't seem to sit well, and I don't really like that too much. Now these panels right here, you want to rotate this hinge forward on both sides and full, start folding that in. And now it's a tab that goes into there, a tab that goes into here, and another tab that goes into the leg right there. So start rotating that down, which is easier said than done. Fans toys always have some part, some little part in the transformation that's like annoyingly aggravating. I mean, this guy isn't anywhere near as difficult to transform as Arcos's backpack. But getting all these tabs into place is frustrating. Then you got things like this thing going down too far. Finally, well not finally, but rotate these two panels here to meet up with that right there. And then you lift that up. And next, you just squeeze all the panels back together because you're probably going to knock something out of place. But it does stay solid because all the joints on this toy is very are very stiff. But here you are. Here is Spindrift or Sea Spray in his vehicle mode right there. He has transparent windows right there, which don't show anything inside. It's just showing the... Blue, it looked like it's probably, the windows look like they're blue, and you can see the blue paint of his die cast behind there. But, here are these decal, details, and this little flap right there always bends in. I mean, you can go in there and fix it, but it seems like it wants to keep drooping down, which doesn't really hurt anything is just mental for me <laughs> and there you go you wouldn't have an Autobot logo here's the back I mean that head poking out right there might bother you like I said it has no wheels at all and these spin it does slide on smooth surface as well I don't know how that works I'm happy that they did give him plastic on the bottom and this final feature or features break this take this gun right here like slot it in here there are little two peg holes right there put it there rotate it until that's in the groove and shut that on top of the little hand pegs now the two little guns the little pegs on the gun aren't centered i like to have the bigger part on the outside of the body right here they peg in right there do the same thing with the other gun and these do tend to point down at least on my copy right here so what i like to do is grab them and lift them up a little bit I mean but I don't know how many times this thing is going to be a hovercraft but I have transformed it like 10 freaking times trying to prepare for this freaking video and oh boy that the part about 
getting the arms into here is difficult and lining that up is difficult but it's not as hard as it can be because I've had way worse transformers comparisons if you want him to be in your classes collection because he's just, this bumblebee is the same size as this bumblebee right there in robot mode but there is your vehicle mode comparison right there and since I have this guy on hand here's his comparison against a regular size masterpiece car if you think I'm gonna transform Arcos or War Dog yeah you're, you're smoking to change out the head, you don't have to take the screw all the way off. Just unscrew it enough to get it around that little tiny ball joint he has. And he has no real neck, as you, as you can see. That's why he barely has any neck articulation right there. The more G1 toy head seems to stick out a little bit further. You can definitely see his eyes a little bit more than the rounder head. Now I'm going to do something I don't typically do. I'm going to do a reverse transformation because this thing is a little bit fiddly. Like, But the first thing you want to do is probably unpeg the legs. Just try to loosen these joints up right there. That makes it easier to grab at this. But now we can untap these. Flip it out. Bring it like that and turn this tab right here around or back into its original orientation swing this up same way bring this tab up and these joints are stiff like i said now we can rotate this out of the way pull his head back up start wiggling the arms or this stuff out of the way get that back up into the orientation we did before transforming them into a hovercraft Rotate this down, straighten the legs out or unaccordion them, push this back here, open that up. And now for this part, start moving this down a little bit right there, or just enough to have that hinged up a little bit. Bring this up and start flattening things right here the difficult part is keeping this down and getting it into that peg underneath of the chest but once you get everything snapped together you'll be good rotate these back here rotate that back lift this up and bend it in and they have like little grooves that this fits in it doesn't tab but there is a little tiny ratchet right there when you bring it down. Bring the arms down, rotate it like that, rotate the hand. Arm down, rotate the arm, rotate the hand. Move this out the way so you can grab the head. And here he is with his more G1 toy accurate head on. So you can see that right there. Not too big a difference. There you go right there if you wanted to see that. To make sure I show this off, the propellers can move all the way back and all the way forward if you want to have some type of new play feature right there. But that gets out of the way of his face. But like I said, this is a cool toy. It balances well even with these big feet. Because of the way they are shaped, he balances good on that one foot and you can decide what you want to do with the other one. And it'll still work out for you. I like these little guns, like I said. The vehicle mode, my only issue is that it doesn't have wheels on it. That would have been cool if they would, would, would have been able to put wheels in it. Oh, before I forget, this gun, you pretty much have to keep it, like, straight. If you start turning his wrist with the gun, it starts opening his hands up because of the way his, um, his arms are shaped. And I did just knock that little gun off, but... It's a cool toy. If you can get around the aesthetic not being 100% G1, and I'm trying to show him from the different angles and whatnot, then I think you could like him. But the other choices out there, some of the other choices out there, I like the bodies better, but I don't like the face choice, or they have some type of other problem. So, I don't know. 
luckily there are tons of options out here out there and this is this option but anyway if you like this video don't leave without clicking the like button don't leave without subscribing tell your friends about me until next time t-man 978 out of here thank you for watching